I have a bail alarm story with OPD. Um, you know, I have talked about we, you know, had a professional relationship with some of these guys, and some of the guys we, I mean, you know, we weren't uh, like, you know, friends, but, you know, we, as a dog guys especially, we all trained together, so it was a little bit different anyway. Um, we're talking one day, and you know, wait to break the call, and the guy tells a story. Actually, he sees one of these Oakland parking enforcement trucks go by because they had street sweeping, and you get ticketed and towed if you're in the, you know, on the street when it's when it's sweeping day. Anyway, uh, the officer goes, "Oh, they're kind of those goddamn motherfuckers," and so I ask him why, and he says, "Well." He was a double part, which, you know, you, you know, you shouldn't, but, you know, and one of these, and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. It's not like it's a big deal. And one of these um, parking guys gave him a parking ticket for double parking. And, you know, it was a legitimate ticket, and he had to take it, and he got talked to about this, and he said, you know, I'm going to get this guy somewhere down the line. Well, he just bided his time. And somehow the same guy in the truck had somehow was illegally parked for something or somewhere. And the right cop saw it. He didn't say a word. He just cited him and had him towed. So the parking guy had to explain why he was illegally parked and why he got towed. That was one of the funniest damn stories I've ever heard. Now, I got a different story about, about, about Berkeley PD. Um, I had a cousin. Now, I didn't really know him, I knew of him, who was a Berkeley PD officer. And I did, in fact, meet him in a call once, one Saturday afternoon. We're at the alarm, and it's him and one of the other uh, Berkeley guys and me. And I said, excuse me, officer, but you, you're not going to believe this, but we're cousins. And I said, my name, and I had uh, my full, uh, or my, uh, my first and last name, because that's what the company wanted. Because, you know, we're dealing with our, our, our uh, um, um, people who subscribe. And I said, your brother X and my brother, or, I'm sorry, your father X and my father Y are brothers. And he looked at me and it kind of like sort of registered and we shook hands. And, you know, uh, uh, that was it. And then at the two or three other family events that I saw him at later after, after he retired, he always, you know, he always walked over and, and 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 we shook hands. Anyway, that's not what that's not why we're we're talking about this. The mayor of Oakland at the time, uh, the mayor of a town that big has a personal driver bodyguard type guy. And that's an Oakland officer, and you know you wear a suit and all, all that. Uh, actually Charlie did uh, personal protection of generals in in Germany for a while, so anyway, the Oakland officer is uh, driving the city car, I'm sure it's a big sedan or something, or, or a limo, I don't know, and anyway, he's speeding in Berkeley, and my cousin pulls him over, and the officer, and the Oakland officer, you know, I'm an Oakland car, this is a mayor, and my cousin said, I don't care, you were speeding sign here, and the cop was pissed because he didn't get professional courtesy, and he signed a ticket. And my my cousin had to eat a lot of shit for this. But you know, the guy was speeding. He got banged, and that's just how it is. So, you know, I, I thought that's a pretty good story too. Now, I've got a few other uh, bail arms stories that I'll get to eh, eventually. Anyway. Thank you for watching Storytime with Joe, and there you go.